Hi, my name's Andy. I work at Christchurch University and welcome to Stretch and Flex. In conjunction with uh, you, our parks, we bring five classes to you a week and um, today's session we will be working on mobility and balance and uh, other stretches to ensure that we get a really nice workout in this next half hour. Okay, I'm just going to put some music on. We'll get going. Hopefully that's not too loud for anybody. So we're going to just stand as we normally would, nice and tall. Really think about our centre line being lifted up to the ceiling. Lovely, good. Let's wriggle those toes in our feet and our ankles. Just move them around. Just try and take out any tension. Lovely, good. Okay, so... Firstly, we're just going to start with some nice deep breaths in and out. And as we do this, we're going to lift our big toe, keeping our little toes on the floor. So we just lift up and then lower. I hope you can sort of see it on the camera. Just so I'm just lifting my toes, keeping my little toes on the floor and lifting. What this does is it activates the big muscle under our foot, called our plantar fascia and it helps to build the um, bridge back into our foot, which often, if we're doing a lot of running or walking, can sometimes start to sag and give us pains in our heels. Okay, lovely, good. Okay, let's just rock our ankles from side to side. You might hear a couple of clicks. As long as nothing's painful, that's the main thing. Good, okay. Nice deep breath in. We're just gonna transfer weight onto one leg. The standing leg is slightly bent, and we're just literally going to flex through the ankle, touching the same spot on the floor with our heel and our toe. Lovely. Let's try and keep our heads up. We know where our feet are. That's it. Lovely. Good. Three, two, and one, and change. Lovely balance, everyone. Good. Three, two, one, and just bring the feet back so that they're in line with our pelvis. We're just gently going to rock up onto the balls of our feet and then onto our heels, just nice and gentle. Again, just getting some mobility in our ankles, warming up through the joints, engaging our calves. Lovely. Three, two, one. One. Something I didn't put in the um, email was that I wanted to work a little bit on the wall. So hopefully you can still see me whilst you're working on the wall. I'm just going to come over to the wall. I'm going to have my foot about a hand's width away from the wall. And from here, I'm going to take, without weight loading, take my knee forward, keeping my heel on the floor, and just push and then release. If that's really easy for you, just move the foot slightly back a little bit further. And as long as the heel doesn't come off the foot, off the floor, sorry, you should feel a nice stretch through the Achilles tendon. Again, it's fine for your knee to go past your uh, toes. It's not weight bearing. Good, lovely. Three, two, one, and let's change feet. Again, as I always say, it might feel very different on the other side. Make sure the knee is still tracking straight over the center between the big toe and the little toe. Uh, sorry, the middle toe, sorry. That's it, lovely. Everyone's doing really well. Fantastic. Three, two, and one. Lovely, good. Okay, let's... Just going to turn around to the other side of the wall this time. We have our anterior tibialis that runs down the front of our shin. And often if we do a lot of walking, running, we can get a shin splint or pain down the front of our ankle. So a really good exercise to do all the time if you're running 
or you're finding you're getting pain, is literally lift the heels, sorry, the balls of the feet off the floor and then lower, leaning against the wall. If you find that really easy, take the feet slightly further away from the wall and do it again. If you do have pain in any area, please make sure that you just then maybe do one foot at a time just to get the muscles working because we always stretch and work our calves but we never work the small muscles down the front of the leg also this will help to stabilize the knees which again will help if you do suffer with any hip problems or any joint issues in your lower body good three two one and relax good well done everybody thank you that's fantastic so hopefully lower down you feel nice and relaxed and a little bit more mobility we're going to cross our legs over so again let's say we're working on our balance all the time please work with what feels right for you we're going to take a deep breath in we're going to soften our knees and then just go down to where you feel comfortable it might just be to the knee it might be between the knee and the ankle you might be able to get right down to the floor. If you can, and you don't feel there's much of a stretch, just slightly move the hips back onto the uh, back foot, which will intensify the stretch. Three, two, one. In your own time, take a deep breath in and gently come back up. This will also stretch through the IT band as well. Okay, let's change over the other side. Deep breath in, soften those knees, and then just gently roll down as far as you feel comfortable. Three, two, one. Deep breath in, and then just gently coming back up. And uncross. Good. Okay. Feet together hands onto the knees we're just going to come forward as far as you feel comfortable without taking your heels off the floor and then just gently back <sighs> lovely good and then if you have no discomfort at all starting small little circles getting bigger and bigger again allow the feet to rock Lovely, good, and gently slow down and back round the other way. Lovely, three, two, one, gently coming up, hands onto our hips, and we're just going to just rock them from side to side. Again, pushing them out as far as you feel comfortable. And then we're going to start a small circle again. Getting bigger and bigger. And then taking it back down again and then rotate the other way. Very simple exercise, but really beneficial to loosening up and warming up the hip joints. Good. Then our figure of eight, pushing the hips out and rotating round. Again, this is now working our ankles, our knees, and our hips. Lovely. Some lovely move, movers out there. Good. Okay. And take it down. Good. Okay. We're going to take a nice deep breath in. We're going to open our hands. And as we blow out, we're going to take them around behind and blow out as we look up. <sighs> Put our shoulder blades down and back. And relax shake them out let's put our left arm up our right palm down looking over our left shoulder we're then going to rotate and look now over to the other side and just rotate forward and back <sighs> lovely good in your own time three two and one Shake those out. If you work at the computer quite a lot and you get tight forearms or maybe you get uh, some trouble with your wrists, 
This exercise can be quite good. Again, we're always still moving our bodies from side to side because we want to keep our body moving all the time. We start nice and low, put a bit of pressure on the back of the hand, and slowly come up to where you feel comfortable. You should feel a nice stretch through the forearm. You possibly might feel it in the uh, top of the shoulder. Okay, and then rotate the hand the other way and gently pull the fingers sort of back and slightly down. Just rocking from side to side. Lovely, shake that one out and do the same on the other hand. I've just noticed somebody sent me a message on the group, in this group, so I would just like to quickly check what it is. So carry on as you were doing just there. I'll be back in one second. Okay. Okay, we're all good. We're all good. Lovely, good. And then bring the hand down and shake it out. Again, another one for, for the forearms is playing the piano, or what I call playing the piano, just working the fingers and the thumbs. Nice big circles with the thumbs and the fingers. Rotate the wrists. What we can do is bring our elbows together, interlock our fingers, and then rotate our wrists one way. And this is the challenge. Now go back the other way. Well done, everyone. Good. Three, two, one, and shake it out. Okay, good. So I'd like us to start. We're going to start with this quite a small um, lunge forward. We're going to come down. If you notice, my back heel is off the floor. And we're just going to come down and then push up. Okay, so we're gonna do four times. So one, two, three, as we come up, straighten the back and the front leg, and four, good. This time, the same side as your front leg, we're gonna bring our hands out, and as we come down, we're gonna rotate, and then back up, one, Two, three, and last one, four. Good, front leg, push it back, shake them out and change over. So we do exactly the same. Let's do our four just to get the hips and the knees working okay, so we just come down. So one. Two, I'm going to turn around the other way so I can see you. Three. And four. Good. Hands come out the front. And then we gently come down and rotate. One. Two. Three. And four. Lovely. Good. Front leg, push back. Good, shake them out. Okay, left leg. We're literally gonna take that stance again, but our, both of our legs are straight. We're gonna take a nice deep breath in and just gently, as far as you feel comfortable, roll down your front leg and hold for five, four, three, two, one. Gently come back up. I'm just going to show you what we're going to be doing. We're going to come down, fingertips to the floor, lift one, two, three, and then on the fourth one, we're going to step back and come up and balance. Okay, so we'll do that four times. Four lifts, but four times, okay? So let's take our stance forward, fingertips to the floor, and here we go, lifting the opposite leg. One, two, three, four, step back and up. Good, it's that connective chain. Step forward, hands, fingers to the floor, back leg. One, two, three, four, step back, come up. 
Lovely, good, well done everyone. So, so we'll try to look at the camera as well. And again, let's come down. And one, two, three, four, foot to the floor, push up and hold. Lovely, let's do three on each side because they're quite intense, aren't they? Good, shake the legs out, take a drink if you need to. This time we're gonna change over legs. So the other leg, come forward. Deep breath in, we're just gonna stretch first down just to make sure we've got that range of movement. And just hold there for five, four, three, two, one. Come back up. Here we go for our three, here we go. So we're gonna lift our leg four times. So fingers to the floor, lift for four. One, two, three, four. Step back and come up. Good, foot down, fingers down and lift. One, two, three, four. Step back, foot comes up, sorry. And replace, fingers go down. Last one. One, two, three, four. Step up and hold and relax good well done everyone okay feet nice and wide we want our toes to be sort of pointing outwards okay so from here i'm just going to take my weight over to my right feel a nice stretch on my inner thigh and then gently come up and go over to the other side Good, keep those hips pushed down and back, nice straight back. Let's just go on to the other side. And one more back onto this, onto the opposite side. Good, okay. Now I'm going to turn to my right. My right leg is going, foot is going to stay that way. My left foot is just gonna come across. So I'm like a T action. Now we're going to place our weight forward. It's up to you. You can either come down and put your elbow on your knee and then you're going to reach down and then rotate. Or you can take your hand down, bring the other hand to it and then rotate. Whichever you find is more suitable to you. OK, so we're going to go down and we're going to rotate four times. So come down and then one two, keep that front leg bent, three, and last one, four. Amazing, good, gently come back up, turn one foot so it's facing that way, the other foot this way, and then transfer the weight, and again, slide the hand down, wherever you feel comfortable, bring the other hand to it, and then rotate one, two, three, and last one, amazing, all of you, four, and gently come back up. Let's walk the feet in, shake them out. As you can feel, we're doing quite a lot of rotation today. Now, this is a new one for me, a new one for us. So we're gonna bring our feet together. I'm gonna to try and give you different angles. And you may have seen this, stretch being done is you're going to bend your knees bring your hands together and then you're going to come down and what you'll see is the opposite side to the way i'm rotating my knee will bend forward what we want to do is to get into that position and then try and even the knees back out so that they're more in line does that make sense Okay, sorry, got something come up across um, my screen. I will just enable, hopefully that works. Right, okay, here we go. So our feet are together, bend the knees, bring the hands up to the chest, take a deep breath in, and as you blow out, come down, and then try and take your elbow outside of your knee and then if you probably you should have 
that one knee is slightly further forward than the other. If you can, try and take the knee that is forward back to meet the same distance as the other side. Three, two, one, gently come up. I'm just going to turn around so I can see you on the other side. We're going to go to the other side now. So bend the knees, deep breath in, blow out as we come down, rotate. Hold for five, four, three, two, and one. Lovely, and gently come back up. Good, okay, amazing. So what we're gonna do now is come to the end of our mat. We're gonna roll down into our plank position, okay? Our plank can either be on our knees or full plank. We're gonna go for up to 30 seconds. Are we ready? Deep breath in, let's roll down as we blow out. Into plank position. Plank position can either be here, tuck the pelvis under, pull our belly button up to our spine, or if you wish, you can be on your knees. As long as you've got a nice core engagement. Good, we're halfway already. If you wish to, just rock gently forward and back. It's quite a small movement. Three, two, and one. Gently allow the knees to come down. Take the hips back and really go into child's pose. Take a nice couple of long deep breaths in and out. We've worked really hard today. A lot of uh, stability work. Okay, lovely. We're going to come out onto our sideline. But we're going to go onto our elbow. Please make sure the elbow is directly over the shoulder. Some people are more advanced and may wish to do a full side plank. But I'm just going to do a half plank, which is my legs are at a 90 degree angle. I'm going to lift from my hips so my knees are on the floor. And then from there, I'm going to take the opposite hand up and then thread it through and then come back four times. Okay. Just making sure that you keep your sideline nice and engaged. Okay. So are we ready? Deep breath in, push up through the floor, through our shoulder. Hand comes up, and here we go. Let's rotate, one, and back, two, three. Try and rotate that a little bit further each time, and last one. Lovely, and down. Good, it's up to you, swing yourself around, or just turn around, whichever is more conducive for what where you are. Again, make sure the knees are bent and they're stacked on top of each other. So I'm gonna make sure that my elbow isn't, oh, sorry, my shoulder isn't coming forward. It's nice and in line. I then lift up through my center line, arm comes up and then we thread through one and rotate. Two, three, and last one is four. And relax down. Amazing, good. Okay, just so you can see my sideline, I'm gonna sit, I'm gonna have my hands, put your hands where you feel most comfortable, because it depends on your uh, shoulder mobility. We're literally just gonna sit and push our chest up. So eventually, Next week, each week, we're going to go a little bit further. We're then going to try and lift our hips off, up off of the floor. But that's next week, okay? So we're sitting, shoulders back. So you might, if you're quite tight in the arms or shoulders, you may feel tightness in the shoulders or the arms. Good. And as we're sitting here, I'd like you to have your feet slightly wider than your shoulders. And then from there, you're going to rotate one way then the other. Just nice and gentle. If you can, try and get both knees to the floor. 
you may again find that one side feels much easier than the other. Lovely. Three, two, one. And relax. Good. Okay. This is where I need to grab a block or you might want to grab a, a, a book just to lift the hips just off the floor. And then we're going to go into 1990, which is this position here. Thank you so much for joining today. I hope uh, you enjoyed it. Please put any comments if there's anything specific you'd like me to focus on. Okay, so we're going to sit nice and tall. Just take 30 seconds just to really think again about as if you've got this, you're a ballerina and you're being lifted through the center of your body, nice and tall. You might find that you're quite tight on one side or through the hip. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. We're going to rotate the same side as the front knee. So nice deep breath in, rotate round as far as you feel comfortable. Please join all of our other classes. We have them every day. Obviously, we've got cats tomorrow at 10.30 with Body and Mind. And again on Friday at 10.30 with uh, Hit and Abs. Lovely, let's come back up. I'm going to hold my uh, calf. And then from there, I'm going to take my hand up and then come over. Again, some people find that really easy. We're all different. And that's why it's it will be interesting if you give me any feedback, because obviously what I struggle with, sometimes other people won't and vice versa. Lovely, good. Three, two, one. Come down, nice deep breath in. We're gonna come across the front of the knee and come down. You might find that you can only go to your hands, that's fine, or if you can get to your elbows, that's great. Then that back leg, I'd like you to lift and lower. So it's a small movement, that's it. It's externally rotating the hip. Three, two, one. When you're ready, gently come up. We're just gonna sit for 15 seconds, just to try and get everything sitting nice and comfortably. Three, two, one, and then rotate round. So we're working on the other side now. And again, we just take a few moments just to allow everything to open and settle. And then on Monday, sorry, we have Darius with BoxFit, really nice and energetic. Uh, Amy with uh, Hit and Abs, uh, sorry, not Hit and Abs, I do apologize, LBT on Tuesday at 12.30 with Amy. Again, really nice high intensity class. And then we're back here again Wednesday for a nice recovery before uh, Kaz's class is on Thursday and Friday. Okay, nice deep breath in. We're gonna rotate the other way now. So up the same side as your knee, just rotate round. Three, two, one. Gently come back. Same side as the front knee. Take the hand up and over. Lovely, good. And come back down. Deep breath in. Come across that front knee. Go down as low as you feel comfortable. And then that back ankle, lift it off the floor and lower. Three, two, and one. Lovely, good. Let's gently come back up. 10 seconds just to allow ourselves to resettle. At any point, I do apologize, I've slightly overrun. If you've got to get back to work or meetings or whatever, please feel free just to leave. It's lovely to see you all each week, so thank you very much. When you're ready, you're gonna put both hands, same side as your front knee, to the floor, push up into downward dog, and then just walk the hands back into pike position, 
And then when you're ready, gently roll up. Rotating those shoulders, shaking the arms, shake the legs. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great week. Keep safe, keep smiling, and uh, hope to see you all here next week uh, with some more stretches. Um, I may do um, some of it on the chair, because some people do quite like the chairs. Um, or if you would prefer something else, please let me know, and I'll try and fit it into the following weeks on the weeks to come. As I say, please remember, everything is uploaded to YouTube, so please subscribe to YouTube, and then you'll get the notifications. We also have, uh, obviously, our online classes each week as well. Um, and please tell your friends, friends and family, because it would be lovely to have the more people we have, the better um, it makes us feel that we enjoy doing this for you. So uh, it's great. So having it like having a little family each week, seeing you, uh, all your faces there. So thank you very much. Sorry, I'm waffling again. But uh, I'm so grateful for all of your uh, support. And we'll see you next week. Okay. God bless. Thank you.